identity five gamers we don't have any time for an intro we're rushing today we're jumping straight into competitive matches here we go watching more of the commentator tournament we got axe boy going up against a forward a psychologist acrobat and good old aeroplane is charles i'm so happy that charles is being played more and more and more dude he finally finally getting the screen time that he freaking uh deserves sorry for the very fast paced intro i just do not have a lot of time to record today i filmed the kahoot today so uh i've been very very busy and i gotta get a video out in time so yeah that's why we're watching some competitive matches from high level players that are commentators but not necessarily top level players uh to my knowledge anyway this axe boy skin is freaking cool as heck dude they never miss with the axe boy skins ops has chased the forward first which kind of sucks because um yeah, chasing forward first sucks. I mean, as Axe, but you do have the spirit, so it might not be too bad. But I went up against a forward with my Night Watch, and there was literally nothing I could do because his vaulting is so fast. He drops pallets so fast. I, I, I'm gonna say it, guys. I think, I think I'm gonna get some hate for this, but I genuinely believe that forward is the best survivor in the game. Solo, solo, so he gets a, actually gets a hit there. Hold on, wait. Gonna have to use some of the football. Okay, hold on. Beautiful work. Beautiful work from the Axe, bro. Maybe not specifically getting against Axe, but I, I I genuinely believe that solo, like as a, a completely solo character, I think that forward is the, the best character in the game. Oh, cannot dodge the spirit though. Yeah, gets hit by two projectiles. Yeah, that's uh pretty good. I, I freaking love Axe Boy, dude. I, I freak, oh, <gasps> the basement. That wasn't even that good of a kite. Okay, hold, it didn't even enforce the blink either. Hold on now. Forward trash, forward bottom tier. <laughs> No, but, but still, I, I do genuinely think the forward is, um, in my opinion. I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a freaking mid-level player, so this means nothing. But I genuinely think, as a solo character, he is the best survivor in the game. Because um, like, he just has it all, right? He has stuns, he can transition, stupidly fast vaulting, can drop pallets really, really well. He just has everything, dude. And is actually uh, opts to leave the basement, which is pretty risky. He's like, keep an eye on the ciphers, but also somewhat slowly chasing the uh, aeroplanist here, forcing him into the graveyard, kind of forcing him, uh, forcing somebody off a cipher. Looks like the uh, the psychologist being forced off, but now he's going to opt to head back toward the basement. Um, they can't make that in time. There's no way. No, they cannot make that in time. The forward is just dead. They actually just opt to sell the forward. I mean, the kite wasn't really that long. Grabs a branch there. That's it. Yeah, he's he's dead. He's actually just dead. That uh, kind of sucks. I would have liked to see Charles maybe like use some of the jetpacks to go and see if he could rescue the forward. Because the forward, like, we would have had tied. Um, and he still had a lot of the football too. But yeah, they just they just opt to sell the forward. Pretty interesting. Um, anyways, up next, uh, we got this, uh, the acrobat. I also didn't even uh, comment on the fact that he dodged the freaking blink with a ball. Beautiful work. He uses the firebomb, but it's going to go around so he can still get the flame snipe. Dude, this actually has not landed a basic hit yet. He's only landed hits with the spirits, bro. That's so funny. I mean, as an Axe Boy uh, uh, main, I assume a lot more. Ooh. Oh, no! Oh! Can you not jump over that? I thought you could. That sucks. That sucks. That's sad to see. It always looks so weird when it looks like when, when freaking Mike jumps over something and it's like, oh, actually, the game's like, oh, you can't do that. He just like, he just so slowly like flies back. Oh, it's so goofy looking, dude. Uh, has the fast breaking power speed on the axe, bro. Charles is going to come on in. Be careful, bro. Watch out for the spirit. Watch out for the, you want to hug that chair. You want to hug that chair. Look out for the spirit. Um, oh, I thought he got hit. I thought he hit. Okay, hold on. Gets the rescue before half. Doesn't, yeah, just opts to hit. So stop sawing for the time there. Uh, Charles still has three jetpacks. Acrobat has to have a good kite here. Uh, he should have one more bomb, right? He has no bombs. Wait, he doesn't have any bombs. That's right. I thought he would have had like a decoding bomb, but no. No, he does not have a bomb ready yet. I, I, I think the next bomb he'd uh, have a chance to get ready is the fire bomb. But I believe you need a kite for 60. Is it 50 or 60? I think it's 60 seconds you need a kite to uh, get a fire bomb, which I don't think was enough. And I don't know if you can accumulate um, Firebomb while you're in the Tide Turner effect. I actually do not know about that very niche thing. Okay, yeah, th this Axe Boy is just doing really well, really, really well at dropping the Restful Roads. Um, going back toward the center Cypher. Didn't even notice the Psychologist actually transitioned out of the area. Uh, yeah, gonna go after Charles now, actually. Hold on, wait. Actually, is opting to go after Charles now. He still has three jetpacks to work with, but... And his hover. He still has, yep, he goes for the hover. Yep, just get out of the way of that. But he can just rest for road, yup. Wanted the distance, but he got, he's got to be so careful of the spirit. He's got to be so mindful of the spirit. It's coming back around. Wait. What? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what just happened? The psychologist healed. Look out. 
Oh, no, he couldn't use his jetpack in time. So close. So freaking close. Uh, the psychology heating of the Acrobat was really, really good, though. Uh, Acrobat was not actually dead on chair. Only been chaired one time. But no Tide Turners left on the team. Acrobat does have a chance here to uh, potentially get some balls charged up. He could potentially get the uh, the Nitro Bomb or the Fire Bomb, depending on what happens here. Still has Flywell to work with. Psychologist is threatening the rescue. Uh, yeah, going to force him out the Cypher. This is looking like more than a tie. Axeboy is a pretty solid hunter that secures ties. But, uh, oh, oh going to hit the... Yeah, oh my gosh. The Axeboy snipes are on point today. Yeah, forces Psychologist out. Forces Acrobat to come in. Yeah, this is... um. This is not looking good. What was that? Drop a tree or something? I actually don't know what that was right there. Careful, careful. Don't get Terra Shot. You're not going to be able to rescue. Yeah, I can't rescue before half. Yup, now he just goes for the hit. That's so smart, dude. Wait wait for them to rescue after half, then immediately hit so you're forced to rescue immediately. That way you waste all, like, the rest of the time that they have. That's that's so smart. That is so smart. No, he missed his bomb again, Mike! That's two missed bombs. That's so unfortunate. Oh, that is so unfortunate for this Acrobat. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is that my Acrobat? That looks like my Acrobat right there. <laughs> I mean, luckily he's not dead on chair, but yeah, he's gone. Oh no, he is dead on chair. I'm stupid. I thought he wasn't. Okay, actually, use teleport. It just instantly downs the psychologist with the. Sni oh my gosh, dude, his snipes are on. Has he missed a single flare? I think he missed like one flare on Charles. That's it. He's missed. He's hit like every other like flare spear or whatever. Oh my gosh, that's it. No, this is this is 4K. This is 100% 4K. Unless like the only way they is if Charles has a godlike kite right here, psychologist can self heal and finish the cipher. But I don't think there's any way, right? He's gonna have flare. He has two jetpacks to make this work. Come on. Oh, but the rest will road to catch up. Yup. Can he make it to the pack? He can make it. Oh, has to avoid the flare, but that's it. Yeah, he goes down. Gonna go down after the, the little spirit speed boost. Oh, that's so. You know, I can just go back for psychologist. Yeah. And the thing is, psychologist has nothing to work with. She has no kiting abilities. Yeah, he's got one jetpack left. And. Oh, use the jetpack. Oh, but that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, not really much you could do there, uh, especially since I caused, had no self heal. That was it, right? I mean, it never hurts to try, I guess. Yeah, he's not even he's not even struggling, dude. He's not even struggling. That's it. On to the next match, we've got one of my favorite hunters to watch, the good old Joker, going up against uh, Professor, which you don't really see often in tournament. Uh, Embalmer, cheerleader, and the Wildling. This is gonna be an entertaining team for sure. Well, minus Embalmer. I don't think Embalmer's that hype. Sorry, Embalmer fans. I think Embalmer's um. Not really that hype to watch, but Professor's hype, uh, Lily's hype, and Wildling is probably one of the goofiest survivors in this game. So he's he's definitely up on the hype tier, without a doubt. Uh, but when it comes to the Hunters, Joker, smiley face, he is definitely one of the, uh, in my opinion, one of the most hype Hunters to watch. Because I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's the fact that he's like under, he feels like the underdog at all times, right? Like he has strong abilities to work with, like the dash. And once he gets presence, which thank goodness this smiley is running insolence. Once he gets um, the dash, once he gets that dash presence, he can actually start cooking. He can actually start cooking. That is hiding it out here. That's smart to hide in the pallet. Oh, but did, uh, did he see you? Did he see you? Hold on. Does he see you? Oh, he saw you. He 100% saw you. That's Professor, right? That's Professor. But he has got to watch for the pallet. Got to watch it. Oh, takes the trade. Takes the trade. Yup. That's the trade, and now has, I think he's about to have the dash with the insolence. Uh, Professor still has the scale. Gonna have Blink, or is that Blink or is that Teleport? I can't tell. I think he probably just run Blink, Blink as Smiley, right? There's no reason to run Teleport, because you can Slug. Doesn't even get the scale, what, what the, that looks so weird. He was like inside the ladder or whatever the heck that was. Okay, he, he is running Blink, he is running Blink. So no, no, no Teleport, cannot swap to Teleport anything. I do think this is the standard setup for most uh, clowns though. There are some no detention clowns that will run Trump, but I think most just do insolence, detention, blink. Uh, so yeah, that was not really that great of a kite, um, but uh, we'll have to see what happens with the rescue here. We do see that somebody is nearby. I'm not really sure who that is. Cheerleader has wanted order, and Bomber does have the coffin set up, but hasn't seen the professor, so they can't get a save uh, with that, unless the Bomber specifically comes in for the rescue, which I don't think will happen because the Wildling does have Tide, which I think we should see the Wildling any second now. No? Oh, they're just gonna ban the professor. Wow. I'm surprised. Okay, hold on. Why didn't the professor go for the, the scale, though? That's so weird. And you know what actually kind of sucks about professor? His scales 
leave when he dies. I'm pretty sure. I, I, I'm like 90% sure when he dies, the scales also like go away, which is kind of dumb, right? Like that, that just gets rid of the whole point of his character. It's a little sad. Like the, like the scales don't do that much, but it's like it's a potential one body block if you can actually get it correctly. Uh, hits the wildling actually, so that's good. Can the wildling maybe? Oh, why is Professor still here? Okay. Um, actually, I guess he was just waiting for the scale. Probably just waiting for the scale to be over. But why did the professor stay in the area? I would have liked to see the wildling maybe just, like, get on the board and then just be, like, I don't know, just harass. I don't, okay, well, the professor is just dead. Um, sorry, Professor Fens. He did not cook at all. In fact, he literally did nothing. I hate to say it, but this professor literally did nothing. That's honestly pretty sad. <laughs> it happens, it happens. I was kind of hoping to see if we could, uh... Maybe see Professor Cook, but I just think at top level, people just don't think he's viable enough. Which is kind of sad because, like, I swear the Professor player base, at least in NAEU, they're always really, really good. They always know exactly what they're doing. Like, it's very rare that I run into a bad, um, a, a bad Professor player. Anyway, yeah, it looked like, looked like Smiley was patrolling the area, looking around to see if there were any, like, uh, anyone trying to heal up. Um, maybe the Embalmer trying to look at him and put the cough on the Wildling, but nope. Uh, the Cyphers are not really looking too good. Accelerated Decoding does get activated, so there's a 30% speed boost on the Cyphers. Uh, we do see that Lily is kind of in the area, but I don't think the Beep Beeps are going to help her out here. Um, and yeah, I think I think the safest option here is maybe to get Dungeon Escape with the Embalmer. I don't know. Um, ooh, use the Beep Beep to avoid getting hit. Beautiful work, but he's actually opting to chase the cheerleader because he knows the Wildling's on the board. Gets the blink. Oh my gosh. Saving that blink in his back pocket for so long. Oh my gosh. His bag of tricks is endless here. He is at full presence and he can just chair the cheerleader now. Yup. And now the thing is like, he, well, he's got Wildling on the board, but like, yeah, he, he's, he's, yeah, the Wildling. Okay. Wildling does get off the board, um, but he wasn't, he wasn't cypherson that whole time. And now the only one um, who can come up for the rescue is the Embalmer. And he's actually opting to chase. He doesn't know where the Wildling is. Wait, but he masked Tinnitus, though. Oh, but now he's picking up Tinnitus. Oh, but that's a free rescue. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that even necessary? <laughs> was that necessary? Well, what was that moving for? He was clearly out in the open. Okay, well, that now the thing is, everybody's damaged. And the Cyphers, they're looking so bad. They've touched every Cypher on this map, but Embalmer just goes down. And... Does not use the coffin. Is he gonna even chair or does he just leave him on the ground? Okay, he's gonna he's gonna chair. He's gonna chair. I wasn't sure if he's gonna try and slug out potentially. Cause he, he's in a position where he could probably do that. I mean, only two ciphers remain. With accelerate decoding though, I mean, yeah, I just don't know. He definitely yeah, he definitely coffins here. There's no reason not to coffin. I guess he wanna do that to waste his coffin. That way, um, he couldn't have his coffin for endgame. Now that's that's probably why he doesn't want his or his coffin for endgame slash um potential dungeon kiting. But yeah, now everybody's being forced off the ciphers here. He keeps picking up tinnitus, but they're all staying in like areas where they can Oh, 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 oh! That was great. Okay, great, great patience from the cheerleader, not committing too early there. Blink is back up in 50 seconds. Gonna opt to break the pallet, force her out into the open area. She has two beep beeps to work with, might transition toward the hotel area. She could definitely do that. She is cheerleader. But Smiley's gonna get up. Oh, Nope, opting to chase the... Ooh, the Embalmer. And I think he saw the Wildling too. Yep, now he's going to slug out. Now that there's no more coffin, hops on the boar. And yeah, he, dude, that's so smart. He literally made him hop on the boar and then just left. Oh my gosh. He threatened the boar, so now he has to get off boar to put boar on cooldown. That's so smart. Is he going to drag the basement to... Oh, he's... He's not. He's going to just chair on the cypher. Yeah, opts to chair on the cypher. No, this has got to be 4k. This has got to be 4k, dude. There's just no way. Dude, Smiley on this map. This has got to be his best map, surely. Like, I've seen people play him on Lakeside, but I feel like Chinatown has to be his best map, right? Like, as long as you're not in the hotel area, which is definitely the best hiding area on this on this map, uh, you, you should be able to cook with Smiley. They can't rescue. They're going to have to sell. They're threatening tonight. One Cypher remains. One Cypher at 59, but I'm pretty sure the one that's at 59 is the one closest by. Uh, I don't think they're cypher locked. I think all the cyphers are somewhat spread out. Uh, but even then, even then, I, I don't think they can do much here. Oh, boom. Down he goes. And yeah, it's the same thing with cheerleader. 
Okay, Cheerleader tried to heal up the Wildling, but did not have enough time. Especially since uh, Smiley can decrease the healing and then blink down right here. Blink down. Oh, maybe not. Okay, now she has no beep beeps. Once you get a good spot to blink, you can... Oh, don't even need it. Boom. That is it. That's game. Almost a 12-minute game. Holy moly, dude. Skipped around once again, and now we got the Feaster. Once again, going up against Prospector, Psychologist, Female Dancer, and Aeroplanist. So, it's on Red Church, which is interesting because I swear, most of the time when I see Feaster gameplay, which is very rarely, it's usually on like Red Church. Like, is Red Church just good for Feaster or something? There's Red, I guess Red Church does have some pretty good chairs, but I feel like with all the walls, it can be pretty tough to get the hit on the tentacles as well. I don't know. I feel like whenever I play on Red Church, there's, there's a good amount of time there's um, gonna be a Feaster, so I don't know. Any, any, uh, People out there who are actually good as the feaster can probably let me know. Um, but let's see. Picks up on the trail. has got the hunter's instinct. Has hunt as well. Gonna be chasing the prospector here first. Did he miss his magnet? No, he got his. He got okay. He got his magnet, and that's a long stun. Yup. Beautiful stun from the prospector. Get out that window. Yeah. The thing is, here's the thing with the feaster. And unless you get your tentacle hits, it's um, it's hard. It's it's hard because survivors can just walk and outrun you. Dodges the tentacle beautifully, drops the pallet, yup. But here comes the patroller. Here comes Jerry to tear apart your ankles. Oh, oh, you can do that? I didn't know you could do that. What? That's a whole tray wasted. Playing around here beautifully, gonna get hit by the tentacle maybe? No, doesn't even get hit by the tentacle. Sets up another tentacle. Watch out, watch out. Oh my gosh. Doesn't take a hit. You gotta charge. You have to charge attack to hit him. Charge attack right here. You hit him. Charge attack right here. You, get, you hit him guaranteed. Why are you not charge attacking? Okay. I don't know why then charge attack. Charge attack guarantee would have hit him like so long ago. Um, I guess. I, I don't know why they just didn't charge attack. Ops to walk around. Okay. Yeah. You, you can trap him in this area. The thing is, this is a good looping area, but the feast with the tentacles. Got a, got, got a good amount of tentacles here. Vault's in there. Um. That, that that patroller cancel was so good. I didn't know you could do that. I'm totally gonna have to steal that if I ever play a harassing character, I guess. I didn't know you could cancel it. That's so cool. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, another magnet here. Here we go. Big stun. Oh, the repellents. Oh, that was actually not that good. Hold on. Oh, uh, gets hit by the tentacle. But uh, yeah, somebody did get forced off their cypher, but that's okay because that was a three cypher kite. The issue here for the survivors is that Feaster is a good camper. But at the same time, we see that Charles is here. And as we've seen in the past, he can just hover. Yup, beautiful work from Charles, bro. Oh, baby. Look out for the tentacle. Gets hit by the, yeah, Charles gets hit by the tentacle and boom, down goes the processor. But did get the rescue, does have Tide, and is now going to buy even more time for his team. There is no point even like trying to use a patroller to stop the rescue because it's freaking Charles, bro. Trying to use a patroller, he's just gonna fly above it, dude. Oh, beautiful, beautiful work from Charles there. Beautiful work from Charles. Yeah, Prosper gonna die out over here, not interrupting any of his team ciphers. Looks like Charles finishes that cipher off in that corner. Beautiful work, actually. And now the last two ciphers are being worked on. Um, I imagine the one who comes in next for the rescue is probably the psychologist. Um, Charles could honestly just use a jetpack to get a little bit closer to the uh, cipher so that psychologist could transit. Oh, hold on, gonna patrol around with the patroller here. Oh. He sees where Aeroplanist is. That's honestly probably the worst target to, uh... Wait, they're gonna sell. They're gonna sell. Oh, interesting. Okay, opts to slow the decoding progress from the female dancer. And for some reason... Oh, they're healing up. They're healing up. Okay, I was like, why is the last time not being worked on? It's because uh, he's... They're, they're doing the funny, um... They're, they're doing the funny transfer of stuff. So, yeah, the feature doesn't even have full presence yet. They did opt to sell the prospect because, yeah, nobody can really... Uh, nobody can really save easily. Yeah, Femidus is actually transitioning out of that area because they know with the patroller on them that she can't really do too much and they're just going to opt to yeah, set up a new cypher here. Uh, the thing is, yeah, again, Feaster without the full presence cannot hit uh, survivors behind walls with the tentacles. So he needs one hit on this um, female dancer here. Is he going to get it? He does indeed get it. He's now at full presence. Okay, hold on. Is he yep, using the full presence ability? Yep, he's got full presence now. There are still tentacles in this area. Hold on now. If she's near a tentacle, he can just hit. Beautiful dodge. Oh, beautiful work from the female dancer. Really, really good diligence, but does not have a flywheel or anything. She's gonna go down most likely. Dodges the tentacle again. There's no tentacles nearby. 
Palette mind game? He walks through it! But she walks through it too! What is this? They both just walked, they just walked right past each other like best of friends. Oh, but he's back on the airplane just now. Jetpack, jetpack, jetpack. Not gonna, yeah, not gonna use it. That's so smart. Don't use a jetpack because you're about to prime. Did they pop? They just pop. Yep, they just pop. Thing is, like, him being on the airplane is just so good because the airplane still has two jetpacks to work with. He's the best chance that they have of securing this tie. Maybe even a three escape. Yup, he, oh my gosh, Charles! But where's the dungeon? Is there a, he teleports, he teleports! He teleports out of the female dancer. She's got no boxes. But thing is, with tentacles, you can't down somebody with the tentacles. You, you have to all... Oh, Opposite dismantle the tentacle, or at least just opposite, yeah. That was smart, yeah, just sitting there on the tentacle so that he can't use it. Oh, but the Terror Shock! Oh, baby, the Terror Shock. She didn't really have too much of a choice there. Yeah, that's a tie, though, that's a tie guarantee. Thanks to the, tra the trade shop teleport. Okay, so the Feast are secured a tie, but they played well. They played well, dude. My goodness. And yeah, he, he cannot make it to that gate. The dungeon was all the way over there, so even if Charles, like, kited, there's no way he was going to get all the way over there, right? He only had one more jetpack. That's it. That was a fun game, though. That was a fun game to watch, for sure. On to the next match. I'm watching matches from day two now because I saw some Bonbon -bon games, and I was like, nope. Uh, we're going to be watching Evil Reptilian going up against Acrobat, Toy Merchant, Priestess, and yet another Aeroplanist. I guess, uh, I guess everybody just thinks that this character is just a very, very solid uh, pick when it comes to tournaments. Now, from this lineup, I'm already really interested... Ooh, that skin is cool. Uh, from this lineup, I'm already really interested in seeing one interaction in particular, which might not happen. But what I would love to see here, guys, would be a Priestess Long Portal being set up. Oh. Drops the Catapult specifically so that she can transition, most likely. Interesting choice. Losing the Catapult, but now she can transition a little bit easier. Um, does he have confined... He does not have confined space. You can actually loop... Uh, evil reptilian around this area so well in this shack because he can't jump like he can't really use his jump suit yeah this this area is so bad for like old, early presence um evil reptilian not bringing confined space this allows people to loop this area over and over and over again yep it's it's really unfortunate because it just has to like walk around everything one jump two jump yep yep see what i mean see what i mean it's so bad uh, but the interaction I would love to see is a Priestess Long Portal versus um, Lucino at full presence. That would be so freaking funny, dude. Okay, so Toy Merchant is mostly going to go for the pallet this time. Loop this area a couple times. going to go for the pallet this time. Yep. Use the pallet. Use the pallet. Mind game. Mind game. Walks through. He just walks through. Bro. He just walked through it completely. Oh, my gosh. That's me trying to pallet mind game. Okay, hold on. This is actually looking good. And now he has Blink. He can just Blink down before she gets to the window. Maybe try to Blink Terror Shock too. Blink Terror Shocks for extra presence. Oh my goodness. Okay, I mean, she didn't really have too much to work with there. Dude, I would honestly, I would have thrown down the pallet for distance. Like, mind gaming, there was no reason. The, the risk reward there for the mind game was not worth it. And I think with, um, I think with Evil Reptilian's kind of mid range, like, he probably wouldn't fit anyway. The risk reward was not worth it, I think. Because if you drop the pallet, he ha he's forced to break the pallet, and then he can go around, go back to the window. Like, maybe you would have got Blink Terror Shocked in the window anyways, but still, it's just more like a... I don't know. The, ri the risk reward was definitely in the Hunter's favor there, I feel. Um, anyways. Oh, Charles is coming in. Used the hover, but gets caught. Gonna get the rescue off a little bit early, but now he can just... Yup. Yeah, goes for the Toy Mercy. Can he get the jump down? Oh, doesn't get the smack down with the jump, but gets the basic hit there. Good work, good work, but three Cyphers are done. The fourth one already being started. Yup, yeah, gonna die off all the way over here. Gonna go into the lake. Toy Mercy gonna go for a swimmy swim. <laughs> but now, guess who? We've got full presence evil reptilian, dude. I, what I want to see so badly is I would love, love, love to see the toy merchant somehow get up to the long portal. He, he chases her all the way up to the long portal. She goes through the long portal and then he jumps all the way to the other side of the portal and goes to pick her up. That would be the funniest thing. Look, they even had it set up. Oh my gosh, Priestess even had portals set up specifically for that. That's so smart. She might still have a portal set up somewhere too. She could have like a portal set up on the other side of the boat. Oh my gosh, Acrobat dodges. Beautiful work for the Acrobat. Can he, can he slow, bomb, slow bomb right here? Slow bomb, you gotta slow bomb. Oh, no. Hit the Acrobat. Get on there. Okay, go, 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 go. Please, please. I want to see him, bro. I need to see this. No, she can't make it because he can jump up there. No. Oh, dodges it though. No. I wanted to see you go through the portal. No. It would have been so funny. No, it would have been so funny, man. Oh, no. 
It would have been so funny! Bro, that would have been so funny. I'm so mad now. Oh, I'm so. You can just. Yeah, he's gonna chair on the cypher now. Wait, but there's no chair near. Oh, no, there's a chair right here. There's a chair right there. Probably was pretty close to struggling free there. Oh, my goodness. Now, now he can just break the long portal. No! Wait. That long portal kind of sucked. Oh, wait, no, she switched the long portal. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, man, that, that makes me sad, bro. That makes me sad. <laughs> that makes me sad. Ah! Uh, oh, breaks the portal. Fly away from the acrobat bomb. Oh, but the blink though. Yup, that blink is back up. And he immediately, oh, beautiful, be immediately swaps to teleport to reduce that cooldown. Um, gonna chair on the. Oh, gonna chair on this. Oh, this is a good chair. This is a good chair, bro. This is a really good chair. You could potentially get drop down hit using the little ramp right there. You can get the jumps, bro. And the thing is, you can if you you can just jump over this little uh this little bridge right here. If you really wanted to guard this cipher, he's, yeah, he's guarding the cipher and chairing here at the same time. Only one who can save here safely is Priestess, but even then, she has no portals. All she has is flywheel. They're opting to start a new cipher. They're actually just opting to sell. Hold on. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Oh man, I, I can't. Dude, I can only think about the fact. Oh, he just jumps up there. He didn't see him though. He didn't see it. Breaks the portal. He didn't see. He didn't see airplanes though. He didn't see him. He's already going down. He's picking up tinnitus, but he doesn't see him. Oh, he sees the trail though. That's it. No, nope, airplanes is gonna go down. It's not enough time. He's waiting on the other side. He's got two jetpacks. I don't think it's gonna be enough though. You've got to be so careful. Oh, no, he messes up the jump. Oh, he messes up the jump. Hold on, that's a chance. There's a chance. Because he messed up that jump, there's a chance. If he got that jump, he would have closed in so much more distance. Charles has a jetpack, like, right right now. Right now. You got a jetpack now. Jetpack. Oh, but... Whoa, almost. Whoa. Oh, got him. No, that's it. Now his basement's here, too. That's so it. That's 100% that's it. Dude, he jumped through the hole. That was a hole in one. And that's it, dude. Yeah, Priestess. Priestess transitions toward the dungeon area. Look. Oh, my gosh. Look at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> Boing, boing, boing. Oh, that's so funny, dude. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that is hilarious. Dude, this character is honestly one of the most fun ones to watch now because of his full presence. Boing, boing, boing. Dude, he just he just kept jumping until he picks up tinnitus. That's all he's gotta do. She's got some portals, but it's not enough. It's not enough. He doesn't see her though. The dungeon's kinda close by too. Does she go for rescue or does she? Nah, she's going for dungeon. There's no way. Boing, boing, boing. He sees you, he sees you. Look out. Oh no. Priestess. It's over, it's over. Pre oh, oh, portal, portal. Oh, he does not blink though, he does not blink. He's got to jump. She can fly with a jump. Oh, oh, what? Portal, beautiful work. She has no more portals. Misses up the, misses up the jump. No, he can't, he's, he's cut off from the dungeon though. She's cut off from the, she needs a portal. She only, she has flywheel and a portal ready in like 10 seconds. But, here he comes, flywheels it, she can't make it, she can't make it, no, she can't make it, she doesn't have, she doesn't have anything, no, she can't make it, wait, that, what the, uh-uh, she's got, she's got one portal, oh, yeah, breaks it, breaks it, dude, there's no way she makes this, right, there's no way, she can't make it, portal, 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 he predicts it, he predicts, he's too smart, oh, he's too smart, Good try, good try. Oh, good try, dude. That was a good match. That was a good freaking match, dude. Oh my goodness. All right, back on day three, skipping around once again. Final match, we've got Wax Artist going up against Lawyer, Antiquarian, Gardener, and the Wildling. Oh my goodness, the freaking KZ Hink is all dressed up. Oh my gosh, all dressed up for the occasion. Uh, <laughs> So guys, let, let's place your bets. Do you think I'm going to complain about Hot Wax this time? <laughs> anytime, I, anytime I see this character, bro, I'm always like, Oh no, Hot Wax. Oh, I don't know how to play against Hot Wax. I'm so bad, I don't know the counterplay. Which is true. The only thing I know about counterplay is... um, is, uh, Peeper? The movement? Um... Okay... Wax with peepers is interesting. I guess you can see where people are going so that you can easier, like, have a better time. E e I mean, the wax. But here's the thing this is a point and click adventure character. Yup, she's gonna get frozen. Gonna get frozen right here. Uh, I... Just, what, what are you doing? 
Oh, that's smart. Wait, that's smart. That's so smart. Now I can just get another hit. Boop. That's so smart. I didn't know. I didn't think about that. Yo, his attack recovery kind of fast, though. What the heck? Um, is that just me? That feels really fast. Oh, we've got Antiquarian. We got Koei Antiquarian posted up. Hold on now. Took some wax for her. Oh, yo, actually preemptively aiming the wax. Let's see. Oh, post it up. Beautiful. Yeah, get him. Get him, Antique. Get him. Has some peepers transitioning out of the area. Come on, Gardener. Get, get some of that wax off you. Beautiful. Come on. Avoid the wax. Avoid the wax. No, she got hit by the wax. Drop pallet. Beautiful. Forced to break. You can, you can go, surely. Yo, I'm going to pull a Zeus on my one. How is that three seconds? Bro, I'm actually going to pull a Zeus. There was no way. He sat there. Broke the pallet and was still able to hit her? Nah. Nah. Yo, Wax Artist is... He... He's a character in this game for sure, man. He is 100% a character. Oh, we got Pumba though. Yo, we got Pumba though. Hold on, get Pumba in here. Hold on. We've got... Oh, I just realized we got Flywheel Knights Aquarian, Flywheel on Lawyer, Gardener with... Um, uh, Need a Reflex and Wildling with Tide, of course. Okay, beautiful work. Beautiful. But... Guess what? And one more hit. Guess what happens? Uh-oh, uh-oh. And boom. He's got hot wax. It's hot wax time. <laughs> um, What does he do here now? Why are you wasting... Oh, I see. Gonna freeze her in place. Yep, that's smart. <laughs> that's funny. I wonder if he did that so she couldn't go and run under the tram and waste time. Or maybe it's like so she couldn't run away farther, so just, yeah, just sticks her in a place. That was funny, though. That was kind of goofy looking. All right, yeah, now you have to come for the rescue. Um, who even comes in for the rescue here? Wildly can't safely. He's might have to hop on the boar. He drops a peeper down there. Good spot for a peeper. Antiquarian is going to come in here, but he's got hot wax now. You got to be careful, Anti. Double red Threatening the double rescue. Hold on. Wait a minute. Actually threatening the double rescue. They're going to be pretty close. Come on, Antiquarian, you need something. If he, if he hot waxes you, it's over. Oh, wait, hold on. The Wildling is here. Hot wax, though. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes, yes, Pumba. What? Yo, how'd he shove him that far? Wait, what? He died, but... Wait, he died to hot wax. Wait, was he... Wait, hold on. What happened there? What actually happened? Wait, was it when he shoved him, he took hot wax damage, but still got shoved by nothing? Yo, Hot Wax is so broken, bro. Hot Wax is so... What happened there? That was so weird. That was so freaking weird. But the Cyphers, wait a minute. The Cyphers are looking so good. This is it, though. This is their last... That's the last Cypher, though. That's the thing. The last Cypher... Oh, it's because the lawyer's been decoding. Is he... No, you can't chase the law. The lawyer has to come for the rescue. Antiquarian can self-heal. She has... He abnormals it. He abnormaled. They don't know that, though. Oh, they don't know. He heals up the garter. Beautiful work. Yeah, heal up that garter. That makes sense. Oh, my gosh. They have to open up a new cypher. But Lawyer has to come for the rescue. Oh. Oh, and they're saving after half. This this just turned. This just got so bad. This just got so bad. Yeah, they finally opened up the new cypher. That's smart. Pretty, you do, honestly, uh, okay, literally, Wax Artist is so good that you're basically always going to have to have six ciphers. The, hold on. Can she, oh, she can't get it. No, Hot Wax, look out. Oh, no, Gardner. Oh, yes, you want Lord to take the hit. But Hot Wax, though. Wait, he got the chair hit. Wait, the chair hit. But he's on board. Yo, Pumba. But it's Hot Wax. It doesn't matter. Shove him. No, it won't matter. It doesn't matter because the wild, wild, this character's broken. No. No, Wildling's dead. Yo, Hot Wax, delete Hot Wax from the game. Yo, actually delete Hot Wax from the game. This might be a 4K. Okay, it's not going to be a 4K. It's most likely going to be a tie. But still, what the heck? It's about to be Prime, but he can wax it off with a wax bomb. But the tram. Oh, but there's the wax bomb. We love wax artists. We love wax artists. Bro, do they sell? What do they do? He's got abnormal. He's, he's gonna abnormal. <gasps> he's gonna abnormal. Oh no. Do you literally, okay, literally wax artist is so broke. You literally have to, you have to, you literally have to, you literally have to prime six ciphers. Like, you know, most, most, most games, most, most games, 
Yeah, for hunters, it's gonna be five stars. But in this game, no. It's you have you have to. She can't even get to the cipher. She there's hot wax. Oh, that's it. Boop, pop. You just run away. Just run away. Don't don't rescue. Don't rescue. Just run away. Just run away. There's no point in rescuing. There's zero point. In Why are you rescuing? You can't make it. <sighs> there was no point. Unless you unless you got the unless you hit him with the stick. There was just no point. But even then, since you're rescuing this, the stun wouldn't last. Right, you would have to use both both hits. Oh, that's it, bro. That's it. Does can Garner even get out? She might not even make it out. No, she makes it out. She makes it out, right? Yeah, she 100% makes it out. Oh, she almost doesn't though. She almost does. that was close. She barely makes that out, bro. Funny how the first target that he chases is the only one that makes it out. Yo, delete hot wax from the game, like actually, bro. Please delete hot wax from the game. Anyways, um, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. I do appreciate it as always, and we'll be back with some more awesome content tomorrow. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later. Bye bye.